using the eraser and all that kind of stuff. But it became very cumbersome because I had to set up two cameras for it. I'd have the camera on my face, I'd have the camera up here, like pointing down on my lap where I was drawn, and I'd have to sync them all up and everything, and I'd have different lights and different backgrounds, and I'd have to get new markers because the other ones ran out and all that kind of stuff. So to fix that, I decided to buy a little teeny tiny tablet thing that I could draw with with like a stylus in Photoshop. So now I can do it a lot easier. It's gonna be a lot easier to record, and hopefully I can do more of them because now I can just get in and I can just record it like I was recording the game instead of having to have the two camera set up and just everything being all annoying. I know a lot of people like the whiteboard with a bit of charm to it. I like it myself, but for the sake of recording, it became a really big hassle to do. So I decided to buy this little thing. So I'm gonna tweet out and ask you guys to give me some suggestions of what to draw, and hopefully I can do them. They're not gonna be very good, but we'll do them anyway. I'm doing another drawing tweets video. Would love some suggestions. Keep it simple. Now keep it simple is key because sometimes people say some really hard stuff. Um, hopefully a cake exception. I think cake exception has to be done. We start off with a base with like a, a pinky kind of purple cake. I don't know what flavor that would be. Um, uh, like this. Here we go. Oh, it's hard to draw with this thing. I'm not used to it at all. <laughs> Man, drawing straight lines is fucking hard. Um, wait. What does a cake inside a cake look like? Or a cake exception? Oh, yeah, I thought like stacking cakes, but that's just a wedding cake. That's nothing spectacular. Um, cake exception. I got it. I got it. The most boss cake of all is going to be eating the other cake. <laughs> does, it, does it have eyes? Does, would a cake have eyes if I had a mouth? <laughs> These are flames, okay? It's gonna be a birthday cake. And the person's cake. <laughs> that's the size of the flames. You're gonna need a fire extinguisher to put this cake out. Not just a birthday wish. Oh, yeah. You are a very deformed cake, but you're, you're reaching out. You're getting ready to bite some ass. But the person whose who's cake you are, they're only four years old. They're only before. There. Cake exception. <laughs> a banana sucking a banana. What the fuck? Like that, right? That's, that's a banana. We need to make you like this. Ah, yeah, perfect. That's a great banana. Good job done. I should just make the whole video drawing bananas. Apparently, I'm really good at them. Is that banana sucking bananas? That's like bananas. I was going to say it's like banana exception. It's not. It's, it's some sort of symbol. It's a banana 69. Because <laughs> you see, when you say bananas sucking each other, I, just, I assume you meant like they're peeled off sucking each other. But I, for some reason, my mind just went sexual. You as the puppet master controlling someone. Oh, I have the, the image in my head of what that would look like. So let's see if I can make it come true. Right, now, how do hands look? Do they look a little bit like. <laughs> Uh, uh, there you go. There's a hat. It's because I'm holding strings. Okay, I'm stringing it up. And the reason for this is because I'm behind something. Because I don't want to draw the rest of my body. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I used Photoshop for this. Because now look. Oh, no room for my head. Bam. Now I do. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is getting interesting now. This, this, this is not half bad. Big, bushy, scary, angry eyebrows. And then my little beady eyes. Because I got them beady eyes. Just looking down on you. And Jack's got them big elf ears just like that. Yeah. Perfect. Because I got a little teeny tiny head. And I'm topless as well. That's what you guys didn't realize. These might look like sleeves. No. Those are bracelets. <laughs> there. <laughs> to be Billy. Um, we, we make it like this. Ooh, because he's being stretched out. <laughs> Is that what I think I look like? Spot on. Okay, one of the suggestions was to draw Sam. Sam, where are you? I get you. A little Sam, little Septic Eye Sam. Okay, I mean, I do Septic Eyes before, but I've never drawn him in like a, a cartoony kind of fashion. Hmm, Sam, you are going to be big, but you're going to be kind of looking off up into the cosmos like a tootie looking patootie. And you're going to have your little tail. Nah, 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 I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with that little tail. Um, you're going to have a longer tail. His tail has become like his little arm. People are showing him like saluting with his little tail or bouncing around with his little tail. It's so cute. Look at some colors going up in this business. What do you guys think? Is it little iris? Or his pupil, I should say. No, it's fucking iris. What's your, your iris is blue. Um, what kind of blue are we go? Sam's always had, like, little reds going on, though. Because it's my eye. The septic eye is my eye. That's how it started. And what's Jack always doing? Shouting. So his eyes, like, popping out of his head. But he, I mean me. Um, lots of them. Lots of bloodshot eyes. There we go. And his little shines. Because he's got the... You see the two little shines? Yeah. <laughs> the drawing always looks like a four-year-old. But it's cool. I, I'm happy with that. I should have done, like, an outline in black. But, I mean, too little, too late. Um, let's sign it. There we go. Yeah. My signature's not fine either. People kept asking me to sign stuff for packs. And I was like, oh god, what am I right? But I always, I always do, like, a little septic eye at the end as well. Yeah, so cute. Brad, aka the Gaming Lemon, said, draw a giant lemon tearing down a village. Did I say Gaming Melon? Or Gaming Lemon? Did I do that right? I did it right. Shush. I understand now that this is not a village, this is a city. <laughs> a load of skyscrapers. Hmm, I want to get some fire going. Like, nah, that's, that's not good. We need, to, we need to make the brush bigger. Smoky kind of fire, kind of like that. Yeah. Now we're cooking. Now we're, oh, now we're sucking down. These are the buildings all on fire, because the, the lemon is coming in and destroying everything. For the lemon, we go with Brad's, like, normal, like, logo design. His little lemon. He's got little nipples at the end. Lemons always do. I, I don't understand that. His eyes are just going to be anger themselves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys haven't even seen his weapon yet. His weapon is fearsome. He's even yellow, though. <laughs> we, we tweeted at him. I said, shit, but done. There we go. There's, there's my picture. <laughs> It's so crap. <laughs> Somebody said to draw Wilson. That's a fantastic idea. I can't find the bastard, so we can just draw him. <laughs> okay, so he has like tears all over him. He's like, the front of him is all torn and ripped. That's not the top of him, by the way. Just roll, relax. The top of him is coming. The top of him is like, what is the top of him? It's just like grass or something. It's been so long since I saw the movie. For those who don't know, Wilson is the volleyball from Castaway. In the movie Castaway, Tom Hanks goes a bit crazy. He befriends a volleyball and the like, they're made by Wilson, so he just calls him Wilson. There's a section where he's just normal in the movie and he's just a normal ball, but I'm doing him with the hair because I think he looks cool. He kind of looks like Bart Simpson a small bit. <laughs> yeah. What is this hair made out of? Just twigs and sticks? I think so. His face is gonna be the hard part because his face is like a, a bloody handprint on the front of him. Now the face is just remove this. Oh god, I'm removing all layers. Oh well, uh, it doesn't really matter. Does he have a mouth? Does Wilson have a mouth? I don't know if he does. Maybe he does. Good god, that eye is too big. Stop that. Wilson actually does have a mouth. Okay, I, I open up the picture and he has a nose. There's a little tiny nose in there. There we go. Wilson, Wilson, I'm sorry. <laughs> I really want to find that damn beach ball. Volleyball, you're not a beach ball. Hopefully this is fun to watch. I don't know what it's like, like because I, I record for so long and there's so many gaps and I'm like thinking about what to draw and like looking at the tweets and everything. So I don't know
<laughs> that, that, that's all good. That's all good. The freakier and the worse the picture can get, the better. I don't even know what angle you're standing at. Oh god, <laughs> he's really spiking tail. He's like poof. Um, is that an anime? Oh, somebody they they also specified that it had to be like a war stash one. So we need like the pink for the mustache. Oh yes. Oh yes. There we go. Now it's already looking like Mark. You know what we can do actually? Um, give me back my black. Um, we give him glasses. These are moon cow glasses, okay? These are what the cows all wear. These are like the hip trending cows all wear these glasses. Also need that. Well, Mark doesn't have that hair anymore, but we we'll give you the old kind of poof. Oh god, that's supposed to be a mohawk kind of thing. Oh no, not there, not there. What am I doing? You you don't have any spots yet. Perfect. Perfect, Rooney. Marky move. Yay! <laughs> that actually came out kind of cute. His hair doesn't look like a mohawk. It looks like a beret. He looks like a sophisticated French cow. Doesn't he? He looks like a poet. An egg with a sombrero. That I can do, bro. Oh, get that egg shape going. Oh yeah, it's a bit of a novelty egg. But I mean, the chicken had a sore arse when it was coming out. Now to get the sombrero or sombrero bro. Um, I'm gonna go for a lighter color. Um, a bit of a, a bit of a tan sombrero. Top of his head. She's coming along nicely. We can't just leave it there. You gotta make him. You gotta spice him up a small bit. You gotta make him look even cooler. By which I mean a mustache. And mustaches make everybody look cooler. And you are going to be smoking a singular cigarette. Just like that, because that's just how cool that egg is. Do you need a mouth though? Let's see what you look like with a mouth. Like, it's like a little bit of a. Nah, nah. I think it looks better without the mouth. What do you guys think? Like his mustache is so big it covers his mouth. I think I'm gonna have to draw your guitar. I think that's just this is like my favorite picture in the whole video. Um, you don't, you don't have any arms though, so it's like it's a real mystery to everybody how you're actually playing this guitar. But I mean, that's why everyone thinks you're so cool, because you're like the mystical egg. Like, you don't even have any friends. You don't have any friends who play instruments. You know the eggy friends. And there we have it, El Ego, as the locals call him. They, he just roams into town with his cigarette and he just puts it out, and then he says, "Hello, my name is El Ego," and he just starts playing his songs. Like. Hands and everyone is just blown away. And that's it for this episode of Drawing Your Tweets. That was fun. I had a lot of fun. It's really hard to get used to this. And for some of them, I was actually just using the mouse. Um, but it's cool. I mean, I've always wanted one just to like mess around with. And I'm glad that I can like, I don't know, do this like digitally now. As I said before, the, the whiteboard was cool and all, but it was kind of cumbersome after a while. And that was the reason why I stopped doing these. Because I didn't want to pull out the whiteboard and pull out the two cameras and get everything set up. And then make sure, because my DSLR only records for like 10-12 minutes. And you have to restart and sync everything back up. It's just a pain in the ass. So this is just so much easier. So hopefully I'll do more of them. I really hope that these videos are interesting. I know my drawings are absolutely awful and they're like four-year-olds, but I mean I have fun doing them and I have fun. The main reason for the series is to interact with you guys. So I can do what you guys want. You guys shape the way the video goes. It's kind of like the way some people do like live streams. It's like, oh, what should I do next? So people can say in the chat what to do. So this is like a YouTube version of that. Like I ask you guys what you want me to do and then I just draw them then and there. So you have direct input into what's happening in the episode. And I love that. I really want to do more of that kind of stuff. And hopefully I can branch out and think of different series to do. Um, other YouTubers kind of done the whole Photoshop people and that. I'm not that good at Photoshop, so I'm not gonna do that. But hopefully branch out and like, involve you guys a bit more in the series because that's what I really love doing. I'm also very sorry if I didn't use your picture or your suggestion in the video. I got so many suggestions. I always do whenever I do these things. People have like so many suggestions and then loads of people write in tons and tons themselves. Like they're writing like 50 on their own. So I get so many of them and I, it's really hard to go through them. I don't want to be recording all day and I want to do them justice. So I'm sorry if I didn't get to your your, your suggestion or your picture. But it's not because I'm ignoring or, or ignoring you or anything. It's just because there's a lot of suggestions. So I'm really sorry. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face. Oh my boss! And bye bye, go around. Push, push. Thank you guys, and I will see you in the news. Just do the war stash. They normally that's what I do for Mark. Anyway, but I should just do it normally for you. What's going on? Oh, well, it's quite good. Onward party. Please make it fast. Sam is green. Sam is green. Sam is cute like a patoot.